and we're live. <laughs> I saw that photo you posted on Twitter. Maybe it was Twitter, or maybe you shared it here a while ago, where it was like, I went into the Costco or the liquor store and stocked up a bit, and it was like, it had to be $520 of <laughs> liquor and wines. It was Dude, like Iowa has like, apparently, like, I didn't know this before I moved here. It's like sixth or seventh highest, like, alcohol and like cost in the, the U.S. So every time we go back to visit my wife's parents in Illinois, I've been stocking up massively on alcohol. I'm just like, all right, we're doing a Benny's run. I'm buying like insane amounts of alcohol because I'm just like, I'm not fuck. I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. It's just, it seems yeah. so stupid. Like, what kind of society taxes this shit? Like, there's no way I should be paying like, it's like 30 percent markup on this shit it's like insane it's in yeah. and sleeping. like i don't know like for those of you who don't drink it very often maybe that's not a big deal but i drink a lot and i'm like this is a big savings it would be financially irresponsible not to stock yeah. up when i go back to visit <laughs> the in-laws Gosh, dave ramsey would approve saving. like I, like living in missouri i forget how cheap alcohol is here until i go somewhere else like flying through the salt lake city airport before you know that they serve nonsense pretend Mormon beer and spending eight dollars on a three percent Bud Light that tastes like somebody's oh. spitting it, you're just like, this is, this should be illegal. What's Bud like, Light normally? So Bud Light is like four point something percent. Like it's it's whatever the normal amount four point something percent, maybe four and a half percent is like the baseline like light beer percent. And because Mormons are like can't do that shit, we're lame. You can only get like 3% beer and they don't tell you that like when you're flying in. And so I ordered one once on a work trip and I was just sitting there like on my layover, like, oh, I must've got like the last one out of the fucking thing. Like what a <laughs> terrible beer. And then like, I, I mentioned something about it to the guy next to me and he was like, oh no, we're in Utah. You just spent $8 for, you just bought spicy water basically. Like Would you need to, pay. he was like, what you need to do is there's a, there's a workaround so what there's Utah breweries and apparently if it's an artisan beer, it can be wild percentages of alcohol. And so it was like, you can have Michelob Ultra, Bud Light, Bud Select, Bud Weiser. Oh, those are all 2.53% bullshit beers. Or you can have the heavy handed Mormon pastor brew and it's 9% alcohol. And it's like, I see what you're doing here. You, you want everybody to buy these $10 specialty beers because we're trying to get drunk because we're killing time but on even efficiently what you just described is a three percent for eight dollars or a ten dollar for thirteen percent i would th i think i was being overly generous it was probably an eighteen dollar beer or something but <laughs> uh when you're at the salt lake city airport you can you can spend some cash it's boring as shit there's nothing to do yeah airport uh, i literally got proselytized to there once but from a mormon i worked when i worked I you that for a second <laughs> no you know i converted real quick to get him to leave <laughs> and then <laughs> and then i renounced uh, uh i was uh sense. I was working at this rental car place when I lived in Idaho and one of my, like, not my boss, but like one of the bigger upper area bosses, uh, was this hardcore fucking Mormon. And he like took me on this and I knew he was a hardcore Mormon. And this was near the end of my time there. And he like wanted me to go on some lunch with them. Cause he's like, Hey, haven't noticed that you're not selling at all. Uh, did you stop <laughs> asking people? And I'm, and I just wanted to, I was like, no, it's just, the tide's not right for me, you know, uh, ebbs and flows in reality. It was like, do you have your own insurance? Yeah. Oh, don't buy this nonsense. Have a good one, man. Like that, like I was, I was done. And he takes me out to this Mexican place and we're talking and I don't want to talk about the fucking sales shit because I'm going to leave this job soon. I don't fucking care. And so, but I know he's really into Mormonism. And so I just started asking him like, Hey, I'm not from Utah or, or Idaho. So I don't really know much about Mormonism. Tell me, tell me about Mormonism. <laughs> and while I'm like sitting there, like eating queso, like refilling queso, I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's tight. Like, and so we talked for a while and he like explained the Mormonism to me and he's like my high level boss. And by the end of it, he's like, we didn't talk about sales at all. He's like loving me because I indulged him talking about Moroni and stuff. And it was like two weeks later, I was at the airport just fucking around. And he came up, he's like, hey, Taylor, can I talk to you real quick? And I'm like, oh, no, here it comes. He's going to be mad at me because he realized I bamboozled him last time we talked. And then he like takes me aside and he's like, hey, I'm not technically supposed to do this, but, you know, I felt a calling and oh, just take this home with you. And he gave me a Book of Mormon. Oh, that's so cool, dude. And I was like, yeah. and I felt, I was like. And now like, you understand I, the power of a blowjob. I, I appreciate it. No, no, but the, the fact that he, and he was such a nice guy. I can't understate that. He was a very nice guy. And like. They all it, are. It wasn't, they all are really nice. And it wasn't like a, hey, do this like you're a sinner. Like the way I took it was like, like 
th- this guy, he like in his head, he's doing a tremendously kind thing. Like he's like, you know, there's an in with this person. Like I'm going to help save their soul. So I, I took yeah. it like it, he was being a goofball, obviously, but I took it. I'm fortified kind. by bourbon here, but I want to point out that <laughs> the people who uh, charge the Capitol believe they were defending democracy. This guy, um, this guy gave me a book of Mormon though. Yeah, I know. But my point is that the, the, the intentions trial. don't fucking matter. Right. I, if they're not, can, if they're not connected to reality quickly on the Mormonism thing. Nice. I wish they were right. I wish they were right, and I <laughs> wish I believed because that seems like a a pretty fucking good religion. Like, like I know they've got some, I know they got some historical stuff. With like, I think there was an Indian massacre, and it's like, all right, who hasn't massacred the Indians? They sure. had it coming. Fucking savages get savaged. That's what fucking happens. Indians. Those it dirty fucking can't drink alcohol cannibals needed wiping out, and I'm glad. I. I wish we'd gotten them all. all Look right? at the Missouri Mormon War. They came, it wasn't the Indians. They came in. They started fucking with the Missourians. The Missourians pushed them out. And so then they went to Utah. Missouri Enjoy was, your fucking and casinos, I mean, to be fair, chief. We could use the same box. Like, descriptors <laughs> of Missourians, right? What's that? Cannibals, et cetera, right? Like, oh, it was a bunch of a bunch of no good nicks, a bunch of <laughs> bad bad muffins. So almost a lot of the uh, Native American tribes were cannibalistic and very oh. torturous. And it's super rapey. Um, everybody always wants him to be the fucking tribe from Pocahontas or something. Like, no, no, I think, they were, a lot of them were still like Stone Age tribes. Of course they did the shit. Like kind of like Stone Age Jews, they, you're saying. They were all Stone Age tribes as far as I know when we got here. I That's don't, what I'm I don't, saying. Like, like Stone Age people did a bunch of that kind of stuff. Like yeah. rape and torture. Yeah. Religion. And then so once you have Stone Age, all that stops. No, no more. Uh, yep. Then you're then you're good like <laughs> us. Chill forever. No, if I could pick like like... I wish that they were right because what Taylor said, like, like that kind of warmed my heart a little bit. Like, like, cause I, I can imagine that guy and how like, like he wasn't trying to recruit Taylor for some Amway or like, this isn't one of those like housewives. Like, have you heard about Mary Kay? Like, no, he's like, this would save this young man's soul. He could be part of the, 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 the people who have it right. He could be one of us, one of God's chosen people who, who knows the truth and he's interested. Oh, that's so wonderful. I, I admire this young man and I want the best for him now. You know, like, like I, I think that's what was going through that guy's heart. And I think that's, or his mind and his heart, I suppose. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't believe in especially their version of that mumbo jumbo at all. And, uh, but, but I wish I did. I wish it were real. That, do do yeah. any of you feel that way that you wish yeah. that you no, had religion? This is ignorance is bliss. Except yeah. like to the next level because it goes. It's, it goes beyond we have a ignorance purpose. is bliss, though. No, like we, our life has meaning. Bliss, we have a definition in a, in, a, in a a route to both happiness and a route to savior in the next world. Like this is the way. Now we know. Now we can move forward in our life with that plan. Isn't I hear that you. great? I look at it a little differently. Uh, Bill Maher said something. Do you guys know who he is? The comedian, oh, yeah. politically incorrect HBO. Now the viewers do too, and. He drew this uh, thing. He's like, you know, Christians are the QAnon people. If you look at a Venn diagram, QAnon is just a circle inside of Christian. Why is that? It's because their mind is opened to bullshit silliness. There is a space in their mind and heart for absolute horseshit. And when they hear Q do his latest drop, they're like, tell me more about your absolute horseshit conspiracy theories with no evidence required whatsoever. Well, fuck. Christians have been flexing that muscle since their dad taught them to do it at six months old. So you guys are like, man, I wish I had my Christian muscles a little built up. You know, I wish I had that was my belief system. I'm like, fuck that belief system. Fuck that belief system at this point because it opens Wait, the door drives, right? to flat earth bullshit. No, it but opens the first their... drive, the first drive is like happiness and the second is like accuracy, right? And my accuracy drive, which is pretty strong, my wife tells me she gets annoyed with me about this, is that's insane. That's no evidence. That's fucking bullshit. Another part of me goes like, man, wouldn't it be nice if you believe that? Wouldn't it be easy if oh, that and, was all and solved just to be for clear, you? What I'm what saying to do, is... how to do it, the route to get there. That's great. That's a fucking pretty, pretty sweet sale. And what and yes, I what I, what I wish, what. what I wish isn't just that I believed like everyone else. I wish that we existed in a universe 
where for, God right. made himself evident, uh, where he came down quarterly. In that. And, and like, like, like where he came down quarterly, had a big meeting with the head of the, the Mormon church or the Pope or whoever. And, you know, that like cameras were flashing as God walks into the fucking uh, Vatican. And you were like, oh, we can't wait to hear what how this goes down. And you've got like the cameras aren't allowed. So we've got like those court drawings and stuff like that of God and the Pope. And they're like slapping each other on the back and There's stuff. A trillion ghosts confirming what heaven and hell are like that, you know, that quarterly you get just to talk just so to. you know, Christians don't believe that anyone has gone to heaven or hell yet. I'm pretty sure. Uh I don't. They think they're no, all. In that purgatory. sounds really wrong, though. Uh, yeah, I think that. Um, I think a big part. Uh, Taylor can help me with this. I'll wait till he's got his headset on. I can help yeah. you with what? So Taylor, isn't the belief system in Christianity Let's go to our religious that, correspondent that <laughs> senior correspondent? Yeah, senior, senior, <laughs> senior religious correspondent Taylor Murka. You um, were once approached by a Mormon. Tell us what your thoughts. Isn't it, well, he he grew up very religious. Um, isn't it true that like uh, the Christian belief system proposes that? No one has gone to heaven yet that it's during the rapture when, uh, you know, the horns get blown and everything and everyone gets pulled up that that the souls of all of the dead Christians then rise from the grave and go to heaven. Yeah. According to Revelation, it's all going to happen at once. At the so, end. so nobody's in heaven. And that's right why now. the priests keep getting blown. They're like, if the horn gets blown. Really? Revelation. I, don't know I, I mean, I have my own evidence to draw upon, which is a Morgan Freeman movie. And there's plenty okay. of people in heaven already. That's a Jim I mean, Carrey movie. Don't you disgrace the other good name. Oh. Yeah, it, it is definitely... It, is it Morgan Freeman in it? Morgan yeah. Freeman is God, uh -oh. but um, <laughs> Bruce Almighty is played by um, yeah. Jim Carrey and, and Morgan Freeman. But I, I'm saying that Jim Carrey is the, st the star. I prefer, okay. I prefer... And Will Ferrell is the standout. That made his career. Oh, I didn't uh, not Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. Carell. Okay. In any well, case, because you think all white I, uh, people are the I same kind of... I have frustration with people buying into silly theories right now and just choosing to believe whatever they want to believe in. And I have a hard time not drawing the line from religion to the other wackadoo things that people buy into with no evidence right now. Agreed. Agreed 100%. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't wish that I were blissfully ignorant and believed I, I wish do. that it was I had I evidence. I do see the difference. I wish it were true. I don't see the difference. I, I'm, not, I'm not clear on that difference because... I guess when I when I think about that, when I look at the distinction, I go, well, I don't wish it were true because I don't like these morality systems, but I do wish I would believe in it and actually adhere to it because then I could just like give up any worries about like any existentialism, like crisis of like, you know, what am I doing with my life? What What's the, my purpose? What am I here for? I could have all that solved. What nicely. is the, so my guess is that yeah. you agree with the morality systems 80%. Right, you know the thou shall not kill stuff. That seems I'm pretty not big on, on target. stoning the adulterers, steel. but yeah, it right, depends. Right? I but guess what, would, what I, if I don't God know came down but quarterly. In general, sure, sure. What if God came down quarterly and was like, you know what? I was misunderstood on that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that would be good. What if we could clarify these that? fucking systems to actually reflect reality. That that make them better you, systems. You guys <laughs> seem to think Christianity is mostly about hating gay people. That's really not the core of the message here, right? If you know, you know what? I, I, if if anything, I don't even have you know to what believe I actually in that. If we could just do that, that would be great. Here's what I actually believe. If, if God and Satan exist, I think that Satan bamboozled man, it, if they do exist. I think that <laughs> Satan, Satan wrote the Bible. I think that Satan wrote the Bible. I think that yeah. Satan is, is the person, the entity that we believe God is, and that God is the entity that we believe Satan is. Um, I, I think I think that that would make much more sense if you believe any of it. Uh, I, I just just based on how awful God is when you really boil it down and look at it. Have you ever looked into the Satanic uh, Church and what their nine tenets are? Like we all know the Ten Commandments, roughly speaking. Yeah. We I couldn't quote them, but we know it's like four of them about God. worshiping God. There's like four of them about <laughs> don't you fucking cheat on me? <laughs> don't you? No idols. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. Honor your parents. Don't murder. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. Something most. And, and maybe maybe I hear Peterson on. again with this. There's a lot of value in <laughs> this. Right, so here the society. Double we buys. gotta fucking update. <laughs> <laughs>